Hey Cloud Gurus, and welcome to this episode of Azure This Week. Yes, you heard correctly, that's Azure This Week, not this month. Alongside our recent announcement of the addition of Azure Focus courses to the ACG library, we are also ramping up our coverage of Microsoft Azure, bringing you the latest updates every week about what's new and most relevant to you in Azure. I'm James Bannon. I'm a Microsoft Azure MVP and a full-time technical instructor for a cloud guru based in Melbourne, Australia. I'll be your host for Azure this week moving forwards, unless I happen to be on a beach somewhere. It is Australia. In this episode of Azure This Week, we've got three very recent announcements of preview services for you to take a look at. The Shared Image Gallery, the Azure Blockchain Workbench, and Azure Active Directory Authentication for Linux VMs. The Shared Image Gallery allows you to share your images across Azure subscriptions within your Azure AD tenants and have the images automatically replicated to different Azure regions. So for example, if you build and store your images in West US, but you want to be able to deploy VMs from those same images in Europe, Asia, and Australia, you either have to set up discrete build tasks in every region or set up tasks using Azure Automation, Azure Functions, or Azure Logic Apps to replicate the image resources to each region without the benefit of centralized image management. The Shared Image Gallery solves this by enabling you to specify which regions your images should be replicated to, but it allows you to be more granular by letting you control the replication based on image versions. The Shared Image Gallery will be in limited public preview from May the 21st. If you're interested in taking part, go to this URL and fill in the form. Microsoft has had blockchain solutions available in the Azure marketplace for some time, such as Ethereum and Hyperledger Fabric Blockchain Networks. Azure Blockchain Workbench is designed to get businesses developing blockchain applications faster by automating the provisioning of an end-to-end -end blockchain solution with all the supporting infrastructure, including application identity registration in Azure AD, secret management with Azure Key Vault, event-driven triggers with Service Bus, and data storage with Azure SQL DB. Once provisioned, the Workbench has its own dedicated API gateway, which negates the needs for developers to build and maintain their own offerings and allows them to get up and running much faster. So if you're curious about what blockchain is and how you can start working with it, you can now deploy Workbench in your own Azure environments and get developing. Finally, let's take a look at the preview for Azure AD authentication for Linux VMs. Currently, when you deploy a Linux VM in Azure, you have to specify either a username password combination or an SSH public key for authentication. These values can be stored in an Azure Key Vault and provided at deployment time, but the onus is still on you to institute lifecycle management practices for these assets. Now, you centrally manage all authentication to your Linux VMs using Azure AD. This functionality is enabled via a VM extension, which means that you can make it part of all new deployments and retrofits into existing ones. So that's it for this episode of Azure This Week, where we looked at the Shared Image Gallery, the Azure Blockchain Workbench, and Azure Active Directory Authentication for Linux VMs. In the next episode, we'll bring you some of the major announcements from Microsoft Build, so stay tuned. Until next week, Keep rocking the cloud gurus. Mm -hmm.